Hi guys, and welcome to the JKT Radio Podcast, where all our bad jokes are quarantined in the house with us. I'm sorry. I'm, um... No. I'm your favorite color of the rainbow, um, orange. And I'm joined with the other colors of the rainbow, um... Purple. McBride. Yeah, that's not Yay, I love purple! (laughs) I was trying to figure out what people would choose as a color. But I love purple. (laughs) I love purple! (laughs) Devin, Devin g- Green? Yeah, I'll say green. C- Chris, do you want to be blue? Sure, why not? Blue or red? I flip flop, so you're not wrong. Okay. They go both I, ways. I, I'll combine the colors. No. <laughs> I am space. Yes. <laughs> the final frontier. Space! Hey, we talked about space last time. No, yeah, no space this episode. <laughs> Just space one. No space. Space has been denied. Yes. <laughs> denied. No space for space in this podcast. Hey. <laughs> Please construct additional file ones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, The joke dear. that nobody remembers for the joke I don't rem- Yeah, I don't remember anything about the joke. I just know that it's funny. Yeah. Please construct additional. I think it's Kiki, you want to not be upside down scratching the cat, the the, the chair, please? No. <laughs> what gravity fun is would that for be? losers? Yeah, our cat, our cat's deciding that she's just going to scratch the chair that she sits on. She's also, and there is actually confirmation of this now, by proxy of my mother. She is definitely gaining weight. <laughs> Maybe, yes. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, That's good. she's a perfectly, honestly... Normal, she's actually a normal-sized cat She's now. a normal-sized cat now. She honestly used to be very skinny for Pro- a cat. It's yeah. because she's eating kitten food, though, and I don't let her outside because I don't want to bring in any birds in the house again. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just smash into the pole. <laughs> this one's Mine's just, just be... lazy and kind of fat. <laughs> We're just going to be providing commentary on our, our cats playing, so... Yeah, or being so. stupid. Or both. I'm going to play those tom-toms. God, I really want to talk about. I can't because Kira is not allowed to know about this character, but I made a really fun concept for a character. Oh, nope. No. Yeah. No. Stop. Stop. It's funny because no. I because I know because I told everybody except you, Kira, because you're the one actually in the D and D group. If we do it for the uh, one shot. Yes. Um. No. <laughs> so. How, how you guys all been? Uh, you in know. The, been kind of I a, actually have a weird mixed up week. I feel you on that one. Mm. Mm. In two <laughs> weeks, I actually have an actual schedule for work. It has more than hey. one or two shifts on it. I yeah. actually have four uh, shifts. It's awesome. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Spent oh, like dear. almost half a year with almost nothing. And then it's like, hey, here's everything. Has I really been having all oh, the God. Shit. March. I don't, I don't know. Stop. Stop talking. And then it'll be Immediately September. stop talking. Stop. Time is a thing. I will kill you. <laughs> Time is an illusion. Seven pillows. <laughs> pillows are fun. But how many pillows of them can fun. contain me? I can make all of them contain me. <laughs> that sounds horrid. What's going yeah, on over bit. there? <laughs> My Because jo- oh, I've God. always had, I have the joke that because we have seven pillows and I will find one to smother. Yeah, because um, oh, we, yes. we sleep together, so it's just like, they can just turn over and be like, You're snoring too much. I don't want to play with I you mean, anymore. It's like, <laughs> you know what? Bad day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we I, guess, I get that thread all the time. The bells start ringing in your head, and you just decide, nope. <laughs> Which is funny, because eventually you just get to the point where the one person is just like, you know what? I just, I, I'm holding a pillow. It could be this easy, and then the other person's just like, "Please, just do it." <laughs> do it. Do it. Do I it, mean, motherfucker! Pull the goddamn trigger. Fair, there, there are definitely, there are definitely easier ways to do it. You would just need to get a needle. Very yeah, true. and you go yeah. in between uh, the toes. Needle there. Yeah. Or like in the scalp, because they don't, because they check between the toes. They don't really check between in your scalp. That's true. Uh, Just a little bit there. I, I still say the um the thin any thin pointy object right through the ear. Oh my god, we're about to mm, we're yes. gonna have this conversation, aren't we? 
<laughs> well, What's the actually, best way to murder talk about someone and get away with it? Talk, no, you would talk about to... how the best way to murder people. That's and probably no, not they... a good thing. Yeah. Your way wouldn't work, though, because the whole part about the air is that it creates a heart attack. Right. <laughs> I was um, like, babe, you're turning the, you're talking in the opposite direction from the microphone. For some reason, I expected Kira to be able to hear me better through the, through the phone. <laughs> through the door in no, the house that's not how that, that works. she doesn't live in. <laughs> no, through the uh, phone, because the oh. phone is where the sound is coming from. I am not in that direction. You no, know because... I sound like I am. Yeah. It's like, the, the, I have no object permanence, okay? <laughs> yeah, see, I've, I've, um... I position my mic so even when I turn my chair, the my mouth is still quite close to the mic. I'm not fully facing it, I'm facing another screen. But if I turn my chair either way, I am still facing the mic. As long as I don't roll the chair away, I'm okay. That's how I have mine as well, it's just kind of like off to the side, but it's still like within talking distance where it's going to be able yeah. to pick up everything. Also, Our... I've gotten so used that my neck actually swivels now when I turn my chair because I, I, I need something to do. And I have learned you don't like it when I click things. Meanwhile, ours I, is just like, like right Sometimes there. I can get there. it out, but sometimes some of the clicks are louder than others. <laughs> I think the worst one is um, you thought it was my fidget cube. I went back and I'm like, that was not my fidget cube. Yeah. You know what that was? What but what part of your body was cracking this time? <laughs> that was crack my bones. It was a pen. Oh. Okay. I mean, to be Can fair though, the, fi the fidget cube is meant to be like si the sound is meant to be similar to the pen, because that's like, it's supposed yeah. to be uh, providing that simulation. Yeah, but the um the fidget cube when I play with it, it's under the table. So it's quite it's you get an echo effect and you can get rid of that quite easily. But the pen, yeah. I had it up, it by my chest, clicking it. Because oh, I was, yes. I was being jittery. Yeah. I'm having Another one you thought was a fidget cube. cube it... Yeah. No, my I. Okay, my pen I can reach because it's in a cup in my desk. My fidget cube is behind me on a shelf that is really far. <laughs> this is just making me think of uh, that bit in uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade where he squirts the the dude in the face with the pen, and he's like, "Oh look, the pen is truly mightier than the sword." <laughs> I don't know where my fidget cube is again. You lost it. Um, yeah. <laughs> my precious is lost. It's probably in a pocket a somewhere. Yeah. I found I found sticky notes in my pocket yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the those. hell? <laughs> <laughs> so we, so we met up yesterday because I needed some more dice, obviously. And, As you um, do. And I need. I figured since we're out, let's see if we can find me the book as well. So I have that. But while we're like walking, this is at Park Royal. While we're walking into the mall to go to Indigo to find the book, all of a sudden I just get attacked on the shoulder by a sticky note. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most random thing. I was, I was not expecting it whatsoever. <laughs> just all of a sudden I just feel a thing like on my shoulder. I'm like, ah! Yeah, look over, it's just bright blue. <laughs> yeah, I had sticky notes in my pocket. You know what's even funnier? Uh -oh. Two seconds later, I found a pen. Oh, dear. <laughs> I was tempted to do stuff, but I didn't. <laughs> you could you, you could have just wrote, kick me. Oh, that would have I had been sticky notes in a pen. I, was, I had all the power in the world yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Plot twist, the sticky note, it wasn't Kira. I don't... <laughs> it was just it was some random this. person at the mall. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, don't eat the cord, Kibumi. Eat it. That's so... <laughs> I think that my cats are... The cats here are only one that goes after cords. See, Boomy is a kitten. And he's getting better. Is he, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> is he? Is he? No. Obviously not. Obviously not. He was trying to go after the food I put on the table because I didn't want the pancakes at the moment. Oh, dear. Yeah, apparently Ben, because we've been, like, taking him out the back and everything where he can just kind of roam around wherever. But now, because he's getting more adventurous and greedy... Oh, yeah. Apparently, he was, he was out there this morning with my mom, to which, all of a sudden, like, I just hear her coming up the stairs trying to, like mush them into into our little living room area here and she proceeds to mention that the cat was in the stance 
by the fence as if to try and like jump up. So I'm like, ah, yep. oh, fuck. This is exactly so what I didn't want to happen. So that baby gate is not going to work. <laughs> that yeah. baby yeah. gate won't work. Yeah, now all of a sudden it's with... not going to work, so. That's the risk of bringing a cat out on a harness. Because, like, when I, when I got Kiki, I tried to always bring her on a harness and, like, walk her around that way. Because I figured, well, I didn't want, I don't want her to be an outdoor cat, but I wanted her to be able to get her exercise. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be able to bring her places. She didn't like the harness. She didn't like the leash. But it gave her a taste for being outside. Yep. 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 And now nothing can quench it. Yeah, exactly. Can you get the cat off the table? The desire the is real. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did try putting a harness on that on um, Snowcloud. And Didn't go well? She kind of just wigs. I'm sorry, I must interrupt because there's an ice cream truck going by my window right now. It's extremely distracting and tempting. Go get the ice cream. I really do not go get to. the ice cream. That's how people do die. It. See, that's the oh, other yeah. that's the other side of the coin too, because I don't want to go get the ice cream, but I want the ice cream. <laughs> Besides, I don't even mask? think I have any like cash on me anymore. Because like Who no, cash? No, nowhere takes cash anymore. Yeah. I think I can ice hear cream. the ice, ice cream, cream truck. Yeah, that's it's good. coming by. Yeah, I, there he is. <laughs> Hang on, let me see if I can make it louder. Hang on. Ow. Cat, stop eating my hair. We're all waiting for an ice cream truck. <laughs> we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and we wait. Oh, I'm being eaten. Nah, I don't think we're gonna get it. It's probably passed by now. I'm gonna. I'm getting eaten. Nom 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 nom. Okay, um, so I it did go by the window. I did turn the mic, and you can hear it. So hopefully, it picks up. That's hilarious. Ah! kitten eat uh hair the tastiest utensil <laughs> <laughs> oh dear i do have some funny ice cream truck stories um, oh so well, let's hear them oh yeah is this, a, is, it, is this worthy of the story time with kira or it no no i'll i'll, th- I'll, I'll probably use the fact that my wrist was bleeding as story time with kira. is it ah. still bleeding i thought you got it to stop i i know but was as i said was uh, it is very red. <laughs> so, I got two that I can think of off the top of my head. Is, I don't open my win- my, my sitting room window, because I need the heat in here for the lizard. Yeah. But my hearing is good. I can hear the TV in the other room. I can hear my brother's headphones when I walk by him, usually, because everyone in this house is partially deaf. Oh, I can hear it. There was the ice cream truck. <laughs> yep, there it is. We hear it. Yep. <laughs> there, there it is. Um, but there was one day I was sitting here and I had like one headphone off because I was listening for the dogs because they kept wigging out. And then I heard, I heard the ice cream truck. Our ice cream truck here plays Iron Man, it, but in what? like a happy tune. <laughs> From Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, nice. No. I always, I always remember like the one, the one song that has the barking in it. Yeah. Oh, the, yes, every I ice cream that, truck yeah. is different. The one that came by here every day in summer for years, it has. I haven't seen it this year, which kind of upsets me. Well, makes sense. I understand why. Yeah. But I was sitting here and I heard it one day and I was like, "Oh, the ice cream trucks here." <laughs> I kind of like, I know I don't have any cash. I look at my desk, because there's always crap on my desk. I'm like, there's $4 in change on my desk. Oh, no. <laughs> Grab it. All in Portis. Oh. <laughs> Grab it. Oh, no. Right outside. No. That's I, a, it's a cashier's worst fucking nightmare. Actually, to be fair, at least it's Portis and not Nichols. Literally, it, it, either way, it's yeah. all Nichols. Dimes and Nichols are the cashier's worst nightmare. Trust yes. me. No, no, trust me. I, I know as well. I had to deal um, with the, the, you know, oh, hey, let's bring in our child and have them pay for it by, but, uh, you know. With dimes and nickels. With dimes and nickels. Because oh, we're too to pay you fucking, pennies. Because we're too fucking stupid to convert that coin into cash. Well, yeah. At I had someone do that, but they actually gave me, like, anymore. rolls. It was purely rolled oh already, and I was like, this is, this is great. I love it. Oh, I can just throw yeah. this in the register. That's actually, yeah, that's really nice. That was great. Um... 
The only concern but, is that you have to make sure they're actually the coin that they. Yeah, but out. like those are quite. They they were the nice plastic ones that are clear, so you could see inside. Oh, it. Okay. okay. I was like, this is fantastic. I can just throw it in my register. Um. I walk out, and I see him, and I like kind of I stand because I've got a pickup truck in my front yard. I stand in the truck bed and I wave. And I see him stop and I see him reverse down the street. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was like it. It had been coming around every day since for. I've been here since I was seven. I think I was in high school there. So ten years as ice cream truck sees me every summer. <laughs> they just know you at this point. Oh god. Yeah, it's just like this house has kids. They they yeah, they're sure. gonna come outside. <laughs> Did you just mention high school and ten years ago in the same sentence? Oh. No, that that they, they, they would had seen me for ten years because oh, I had been yeah. here. I moved here when I was eight. <laughs> it's okay. I realized high school that... be around eighteen. <laughs> I realized that I was um, that I I, I I started grade nine ten years ago. Yep. And that's I all. almost graduated, but eight eight years ago, uh, Devin. Seven years ago. So you graduated in twenty. Let's not make McBride even more Funny. old. McBride, we yeah, love you. I <laughs> that was ten years ago for you, I wasn't it? <laughs> I graduated eleven years ago. Oh yeah! Did you wind up going to your uh, anniversary thing? No, I didn't go. You God, I don't convince... ever want to go to ours. You I mean, to yeah, that's Victoria the thing. Not to I'm, go? I'm, te- I'm I mean, tempted. yeah, it's funny because Vic wanted to go. She was like so, super excited and she kept on trying to get me to go for so long. I'm just like, I don't want to go. Like, I talk to the people who I want to talk to. I don't need There's to There's a see... reason I don't interact with these people anymore. See, it's exactly. weird for me because like, I think y- you and I can both attest this here. It's like we and our group we did We're not different <laughs> we just did not vibe with not a vibe not a vibe we didn't really vibe with the rest of our year like there wasn't I I, a, there wasn't a lot of I people that I'm like, sneeze, so i on. disliked <laughs> but most of them it was just like we're just not bless you you can stay <laughs> over there and we'll stay here <laughs> <laughs> social distancing <laughs> yeah but it was just like sorry i've got allergies yeah we we That's just okay. it, it, there were very few people apart from our kind of main group of like six or so people that i will say i would i would want to go just to see my my engineering group again i do oh, miss them yeah so that would be the ones who kidnapped me on grad night <laughs> oh yes <laughs> them my boys, I do, I do miss them, boys. I would like to go just for that. Yeah, you see, I would go just to kind of like see where like everybody is, just because I have like a morbid curiosity of like, are you guys doing how terribly fuck- or what? How fucked are all of you? How many? How, how many? How many of them peaked in high school? Uh, I, I'm yeah. legitimately curious. Yeah. The, the only- yeah. See, the only friends I would ever want to see from high school would be the ones that usually show up to Maxine's birthday parties. Yeah. The rest of them, I'm like, yeah. I have absolutely no interest in because most of them were pricks. Yep. Because, yeah, because that's the thing is yeah. mo- a lot of them just showed no real interest in getting to know me, so I never got to know them. So I'm just like, okay. I do, I do miss some of the friends that I had that were, like, re- like were prefer- peripheral friends. Like, the ones yeah. that, like, I don't really interact with anymore outside of, like, when we all get together as a social gathering once a year or something like that. Once a year. But generally speaking, like, there are some of them I'm like, li- I literally hated your guts. And the only reason why you couldn't tell is because I have that sense of humor that allows me to be rude to you and think it's fun. And people think it's funny. Hi. I'm going to get a I cat out of say... a sink. Hold on. Uh-huh. I don't think I actively hated anyone in our grade. I hated a couple. <laughs> but then again, I was somewhat loved no everybody liked you kira that, that, like, that hasn't be- changed yeah that hasn't changed I'm... everybody everybody either liked you or were just be- terribly confused by you <laughs> i was like i'm gonna only say that i was somewhat tolerated by everyone only for what i did in october <laughs> it's it's really funny also i remember kira because i remember getting like i don't know if I mean, a lot of people asked you but i got asked a lot if we were dating in high school I had a teacher ask me if I was dating Cody, you, or Jade. <laughs> <laughs> and did you uh, answer the correct response, which was all three? <laughs> um, it was Mr. Erickson. <laughs> really? So 
I just kind of looked at him. Mr. And I was Erickson like, asked your... that? Well, I had... Mr. Erickson, to give people in perspective, is a military child who teaches a history class. Yeah. Ooh. All of his family were in the military. And it shows. He has attested to this. Also, he reminds me a lot of my own mother. Oh. He is like the male version of my mother. Yeah. Devin can probably think about that and agree. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of looked... I, I, I'm good natured with Mr. Erickson. He doesn't like me and I don't really like him and we knew and we didn't care. I looked at him and I'm like, look at my options. Look at what you asked and now I'll come up with your answer. And he's like, but why? But why? <laughs> but why? Well, because I had history with our friends Devin and Jade and I sat in the middle mostly. Like it was... I was a mediator. Actually, I don't. Th I wasn't in your history class. I think it was Cody that was in your history class. Yeah, no, Co Co sorry, Cody and Jade. Yeah. I was the mediator in the middle. Yeah. You know and like, mean? we were sitting there. We did nothing in history. We made friendship plate bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> we made friendship bracelets. You know what's funny? We tied I think... them to the binder rings. <laughs> I think genuinely, like, when we were, when I, aside from Victoria, who came as a default friend, um, in the most loving way. Yeah, I was like, wow. I had, no, I... Ouch. <laughs> no, there... Victoria, oh yes, the default friend. No, because I have a reason behind that. There is a reasoning I'm saying it that way. because she kidnapped you. That too. But also because, like, when I'm saying, like, out of all of Devin's friends when we started out, not counting Victoria, because she was a default, she was already my friend. So not counting oh, Victoria yeah. out of Devin's friends. I think Kira was the first one I became comfortable with. Yeah. So first That's one was because like, I'm a horrible, horrible person, and I don't kidnap people. I adopt them. Those are mine yeah, now. Yeah, but both you and Jade <laughs> tried to do that. It's just that Kira succeeded. Well, that's because I you didn't just try. Have it, uh, Jade very often. <laughs> <laughs> I true. didn't try. I just did. I think it's there was a, a skill. We there was a very why. brief time. I think I might have been jealous once, and then I'm like, "What the fuck am I thinking? It's Kira." Yeah. This is Kira. <laughs> um. Well, that also like, yes. hey, we're already dating. Yeah, I'm like, well, yeah, no, this is stupid. It's Kira. Kira can have us both. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Kira, Kira can have everyone. It's fine. Kira's the, the, the polyamory god. I love how this is a joke we are still continuing. <laughs> it will never end. This joke um, will never die. We, we, never are die. Just, we are just some of the harem that belongs to Kira. Yes, we just are. Just a fraction. <laughs> yeah, we're all a harem fraction. that is owned by but Kira. a small fraction. Of Kira is a Kira. harem anime. If this was an anime, Kira would be the main character. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, it's just a dating I, 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 I hate to tell you, tell you, your parents aren't 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 long for this world. Then, if we're in an anime and you're the main character. No, my mother's the main um, antagonist. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Oh, um, dear. This isn't even my final form. Your mother and my mother will fight to the death. <laughs> the final antagonist. And fight. my mother will um, watch from the sidelines and be very confused. Yeah, <laughs> concerned. Your mother is so nice. She is. She is adorable, and I love her. Um, we were talking about ice cream trucks. <laughs> oh yeah, we were. yeah. That. that diverged <laughs> very quickly. As it does on this podcast, I don't yep. know why anybody expects very, any well, different. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Yeah, you so know, I, I'm just I, with catching that bugs one, in Animal Crossing. I know I can see you on my Switch that you're online. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I can see. Um. Yeah, with that one, I stuck on my truck that I got my ice cream. I normally get one of two ice creams. Um, with them, so they just kind of asked which one I wanted. Was it they, the they, they one? Knew. I don't like the character themed popsicles. They're god. Oh, I don't awful. like the gumball eyes. Interesting. They're, okay. they're well, not good. I mean, gumball is a very loose term. They were more like rocks. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. I didn't like them. Alright, fair. Um, I normally got like a drumstick, which cost $4. The drumsticks are yeah, good. Yeah, those, those are the premium ones. Y yeah, the drumsticks are awesome. Or fudgicles. Um, fudgicles are good too. Fudgicles yeah. are good and a lot yeah. deeper. Um, or I did get the fudgicle. Um, I got a this ice cream truck had taxes included on their prices, so I got the, I got the drumstick. I yeah, yeah. Um, the other time is, I was, my friend was house sitting, and we were playing D and D at the place they were house sitting. 
Oh, is this okay? Is this the um that one time we all met up together? But or is that a different day? We went. We we had they made I think it was tacos that day. I think it was tacos or burgers. When we went there, we got food. But we heard the ice cream truck. And they're like, oh, we don't have money. And I was like, I have cash on me for once. Me and the guy playing the DM we ran outside, saw the ice cream truck. We both <laughs> had bare feet on. Like, we didn't have shoes or anything. We were bare feet. The road is 90% gravel. <laughs> See the ice cream truck. Can we try to wave it down? He tries to chase after it. Ow. What? Gave up because it is up a hill. It is up a very steep yeah, hill. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. And then we just see that ice cream truck. It looks like it's going to turn. And then it like does the, the three point turn and it starts coming back down. And we're like, yes. Yes. I swear I remember this. Like, I, sw- I can't remember I if swear. it was you or another person we had with us at the time. Because I know if it's the same people I think we're talking about for the. Po- the um... It's Boris. Yeah, that's what I thought. So there was a time when we all played D&D when they were house sitting. Yeah. yeah. Because I know I was angry because I couldn't sit in my regular spot. Yeah, it was a different group I was with. I think when I did the ice cream truck thing, because I bought everyone um, rockets, the the three colored ice cream, the red, white, and blue, because they were a dollar, mm-hmm. and I was like, I had enough yep. to get all of us one of yep. those. I love those ones. <laughs> Still sounds familiar because I think if it was that same time we had burgers. I think. Yeah, because I know yeah, I also that's they made burgers for us, and I yeah definitely I do remember that we didn't go and see the ice cream truck that day. Yeah. No. So it was the other group and we had tacos then because I went I went up there twice. It's just weird because it's like there's so many things that it's like it's so it's like a Mandela effect. You're just like I swear I remember something like this. Yeah, it's the six degrees of Kevin Bacon, but in real life. I know when you guys were here at my house, we yep. heard the ice cream truck, but none of us had cash. <laughs> yeah. So we were in. That was one of the times we were in my backyard. See, ice cream trucks would would last a lot longer if they just started taking debit as well. Um, yeah. I did ask that the one that came here. He's like, "Why don't? Do you have a debit machine? Because then yeah. I can get the other ice cream." Um. The that tap thing needs Wi-Fi, and he doesn't have continuous Wi-Fi in his truck. Uh, yeah, I don't think they give those trucks Wi-Fi. Yeah, he needs a, he needs some kind of super old. He needs some kind of internet yeah. connection. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's he's like, the if thing. he could, if he could afford to get that, he would do that because then he would also make more money. But he doesn't. Yeah, have he'd any, make bank. He didn't have the money to invest in it. Yeah. 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 See, all all of these, like, big investors that are investing in, like, all of the towers that are going up in, like, Vancouver or Burnaby or something like that, or investing in, like, new restaurants or new stores and the shit like that. It's like, no. Invest in better quality ice cream machines so they have their individual yeah. Yeah. own Wi-Fi so they if can you, use you, the debit That's, like, cap. the only way to do it. Yeah. We have, we have enough high I mean, rises. I don't know. Thank ice you cream trucks are, like, a quintessential, like, summer experience and the way to keep them alive is through wi-fi yeah you gotta keep up with the times yeah. nobody's gonna keep cash and like the only time like if you're yeah, gonna have exactly. cash you're not either not gonna have enough or the ice cream truck's not gonna come but everybody has debit mm-hmm. also currently right now we're in the middle of a fucking virus yep so, well, so yeah. most people don't want to take cash oh yeah there's also that yeah yeah exactly yeah. well no, most places aren't even 7-eleven is right i found out either, yesterday so. Oh. I would I would never know because I don't do cash. I had oh I had God. change in my pocket and I just wanted a water. And I was like, Can, yeah. "Do you want this tuny?" And they're like, "Yeah, I did cash." I'm like, "Sweet." Mm, yeah. <laughs> like it's only two bucks. Oh. I don't want to pull out my debit card for like a tuny. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, Mommy has discovered a window. Oh, uh, all hail the window. <laughs> uh, do we do we want to talk? To the wall. Do you want to talk about the horrible blood thing on my arm? Sure. Yes, let's do yeah, the story let's time with Kira. So, there's, there's the story time with Kira. Story. Play my jingle. Story time with Kira. Done. Sweet. I love it. Um, <laughs> Boomy, get off of the windowsill. Never. No, don't. <laughs> so, um, McBride, if you were looking, you actually would have seen this yesterday. <laughs> I had it yesterday. Was I just not paying attention then? 
I don't know, man. Nobody looks at my wrists usually. Oh well, yeah. I mean, that's an odd thing for like a person to look at immediately. Yeah. yeah. Like, how you doing? How's your wrists? Yep. There we go. Unless you're like a tennis player or something. That is true. Anyways. Yeah, but you gotta think. What has Kira done to horribly injure herself this time? Um. Let's see if I think that's in focus. I'm not sure. Um, so I got a new cat post. It is very tall. It is 70 inches. It is taller than almost everyone in the house. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's yeah. big. I put it together. <laughs> there's the cat. There's, I do there's... remember you talking about that. Yeah. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, I that's think I'm my... matching one somewhere. That's my wrist right now. I am allergic to cats, so it is very red, even though it's from yesterday. So it, it flares mm. up quite a bit. For recap, she has five of them. I now have five of them. I have lost one. Um, so I always made a joke, especially with the cat trees. Um, this is my cat tree. This is where I pluck my fleshy, freshly grown cats. And I always make that joke and I You're pick a cat fleshly off. Grown. Fleshly <laughs> grown. <laughs> freshly grown cats. And I, like, I, I make a joke and I pull one off and I give a kiss and I put it back down. So I made that joke yesterday. And I picked up one. Um, and as I was trying to put her back, she flailed. And one claw caught caught in one of the higher the 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 higher things, um, pedestals above my face, where I wasn't trying to put her. And the other claw, while she was flailing, went right into my wrist. Oh, you can you can see where that came from. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I let go and the cat kind of just flailed on its own for a moment because I was like, I am heavily bleeding and it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I've done this so many times with you, cat. Why this time? Did you Why have out? you harmed me now? But I love you. Why would you do this? <laughs> I will admit, I picked one of the cats with the longest set of claws. Uh, yes. I picked um, Keisha, who is one of the smaller ones. I just have to remember to trim my cat claws. I don't usually care. <laughs> I usually leave them be as they are because they do that themselves on the big cat post. But yeah, she she got me good as you guys can see. And I scratched it yeah, open damn. shortly yeah, before that's... this podcast, so it's even worse. Yeah. No, oh, jeez. Yeah, it's fine. You can see my mouse in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My out of focus <laughs> mouse. Um, yeah, that was uh, that. It's, I did that yesterday morning, and I was like, "Man, that hurt." And it, originally, it was just like the skin puffed up, and I'm like, "Oh, yeah, that's that's just my no, allergy. It makes the skin puff up real bad, and the yep, ven yep. and the venom that exists in their claws." Yeah. And I ignored it. In case you didn't know that cats are venomous. Cats are venomous. Yep. Uh, they have poison in their claws and in their spit. <laughs> Jesus. Venom, not poison. Those are different. Yeah, they are different. Venomous is if uh, it bites you and you get poisoned. It's venomous if you bite it and then you, you get it. poisoned. It's poisonous. Yeah. <laughs> it's very weird, but it makes sense. Trust us. Um, There's also oh I wonder if I can find that Tumblr post that goes into it. Yeah, the it bites you, you bite it. If I if it bites me, <laughs> it's a if whole we bite each thing. Other. If we bite each other, then you're both poisonous. <laughs> 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 but then it, it could be you're both venomous. Then who knows? It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um, yeah, it didn't start bleeding right away. Like it puffed up, and it like I'm like oh, I walked away, and it was really hurting. I looked back down. Oh my god, you found it. That was really I fast. Did, yeah. I just looked up venomous poisonous Tumblr post. Oh dear. <laughs> Do you want me to read it? Yeah. <laughs> if you bite it you and you die, it's poisonous. Oh no. If it bites you and you die, it's venomous. I apologize to no whoever that accent offends. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like it wants to be Australian. It, it's wanting to be, but... But you, yeah. you, didn't, you didn't read the post, Devin. I know, you gotta read the rest of it. There's oh so yeah, no, more. I'm getting to that. So, what if it All bites right. me and it dies? That means you're poisonous. Jesus Christ, Nate. Learn to read. 
What if it bites itself and I die? It's voodoo. <laughs> what if it bites me and someone else dies? That's correlation, not causation. What if we bite each other and neither of us die? That's kinky. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> kinky. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's dear. a cheese rick it's a great post <laughs> i don't know why i love that post so much yeah that reads like something out of rick and morty <laughs> it's it's a yeah. fantastic post and it's been around a long time because it actually it does the old school tumblr of like the lines for who posted it yeah it, it yeah. Uh, makes out the illuminati triangle because of course they're owned by the illuminati oh everybody of course is. Oh, well no oh. they were <laughs> Remember, it got yes, sold to Verizon, were. and now we're costing Verizon money. Yep. Sounds about right. <laughs> it's hilarious. Whoever owns Tumblr loses money, and that's actually a fact. I love it. Um. Yeah, so I left it alone for like 10 minutes, not thinking much of it, because I'm like, oh, it's just another injury. It's fine. It's standard Kira affair. It's just standard Kira affair, and I kind of giggled to myself. Walked away, went and took a nap. Looked like I walked away walked around the house for a minute and then i went to lie down like 10 minutes into my nap i'm like man it really hurts kind of roll and look at my wrist again just blood dripping down i'm like oh oh ah. yeah that'll do it that's why it hurts so bad i bleeded <laughs> i am bleeding it was deep enough to do a bleed i am losing my life force it was it was oh my god i just kind of wiped it on a, one with awa wiped it on a shirt and i went back to sleep for a bit that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Finally that woke up. That seems like up. a Kira thing to do. Just wipe it on a shirt. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Got out of bed. Looked at it. it looked like it had bled a bit more and then dried and I went and washed it. <laughs> do I want to get out of my nice toasty bed with all the soft <laughs> things? No. <laughs> no, no, I, do I don't. This is nap time. The question to that is never a yes. <laughs> oh, I, I, it has been a yes, um, a few times. Like, also yesterday, when I went back to my nap after I washed my arm, I kind of realized, but wasn't I supposed to be somewhere at one thirty? Mm. Oh right. Oh yeah. It's a good thing we were late. <laughs> I was on time still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I took a nap on my normal nap spot. Oh, no, speaking it's, of it's, naps. It's like had like mini rage moment with Vic about that, but I'm not going to bring it up. So. <laughs> I have discovered the wonders of melatonin. Melatonin's nice. Oh, uh, yeah. I finally sleep. And, like, what I mean I sleep, I mean, like, if I try to go to bed at, like, so I'll take it at, like, 2.30, and then I'll, like, go to try to go to bed at 3, and I'll actually fall asleep before 3.30. Dun, dun, dun. It's a miracle. Hallelujah. Okay, can you tell Vic about that as well, then? <laughs> yeah, because seriously, it is, like, I mean, I have to take two, two, like, they recommend, like, for adults, you take between one to three. Um, mm -hmm. of the, like, I, have, I have the three milligram um, melatonin, and it's, like... I, I take two of them because the first night I took just one and it it made me sleepy but it didn't really like make me fall asleep quick enough and then yeah mm. no like I'm like passing out and like the next day I actually I woke up first at ten thirty and I'm like see I could get up I feel fully rested I'm not going to but I could and then I <laughs> didn't yeah bed is nice bed is warm yeah <laughs> bed is where the cats are. Yes. Oh uh, yes, of course. That is where the cats choose to be. Sometimes, when they're not consuming my hair. <laughs> I do wish the cats could come to my bed sometimes, because I would love the cuddle buddy. Aww. I would just, you know, sneak one in. I would die. Right, allergies. I'm the one who suffers if they come in. <laughs> I'm the one who oh, suffers. Oh hello, cats. <laughs> Speaking of cuddle buddies. Little shit is here. But oh, he's a okay. cute little shit. Boomy and the devils. Hi. Hello. What are you oh. going to do? What's your plan? Uh, that, sounds... <laughs> that sounds like such an anime band name. I know, right? <laughs> For me, it was Hey, everybody, we're Boomy and the devils. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it was a disappointment right there for me because I'm playing a game. And it's... It's a Japanese game that has been horribly translated. 
And there's Ooh. a there's a hacker team. You heard me correct. A can hacker you, team. Can you hear him purring? No. It might the microphone might be picking up in the recording, but I can't hear it. Yeah, if, oh, if yeah, the microphone that, that is picking, picking it up, it I'll, up. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> emphasize it. Um, no, don't eat my hair. Yeah, it is you horribly. You can actually see it in the recording. Horribly translating. It's a goddamn. It's, it's by a big company too. It's all this licensing, and I can't video. I can't do a video on it because it's one of the companies that disallows it. Oh. Can we ask who the company is, or would that be too much? Um, I can tell you the game actually. Yeah. Okay, okay. even better. Uh, it was a uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory, so the second Cyber Sleuth. Oh game. yes, oh, you yes. told me about I've this. I've seen you playing it on the PS4. Yes. <laughs> well, I, yes, it cannot be played in public. I like the game. I almost finished it before, and then I was like, I broke it. Essentially, I broke the game. And it didn't work. So I started that? over recently to finally finish it. And so I, I'm, I'm almost back to where I was. In half the time, might I add. Nice. Oh, nice. I think I got to chapter 16 in like 40 hours. I'm at chapter 15 in 22. Hi. Hi, Bumi. So I've also spent... I think six of those hours just sitting there grinding out levels, and it sucks ass. <laughs> grinding in Digimon yep. sucks. The, the cat is now like rubbing against Aww. In, oh. the microphone. No. But the um the part mm -hmm. it is there's um a hacker team called the Demons. And but it's so badly translated, sometimes the demons turn into the devils. I mean, <laughs> makes sense. They also keep messing up he and she. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> less sense. And there's like a few other ones where they, they, they're like, oh yes, the eaters. Now they're called Bakuman. There is... And they keep interchanging the two. Oh no. Because Bakuman is a different kind of Digimon. It's like a ghost. But the eater yeah. is a white octopus. <laughs> I say octopus, it looks like a nautilus. The nautilus shell with the shell and the squid tentacles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks yeah. like one of those. And it's called an eater. And they keep switching out the words. I'm like... Me. This hurts, because oh, I never dear. know what you're talking about anymore. <laughs> well, I'm just going know. to agree. <laughs> and then there's Pretend points where like, you have dialogue options. But I don't know which one to pick because it's one full sentence and I can pick the top part of the sentence, the bottom part of the sentence, or the middle. I'm like... I don't... Is one full run of sentence. I think this is one option, but I don't know what the other two are because it's just giving me two parts <laughs> of the same sentence. Oh no. <laughs> that is such a bad design choice. Yeah, that's terrible, man. I love oh the God. game. I think it's just because I love Digimon. Do you guys uh, remember the Digimon movie where in front of the movie they played like an Anna? My uh, name Anna is Anna. Oh no, I can't sing that. Yes, Angela Anaconda. Angela yes. Anaconda. Thank. I love that movie, Anaconda. but that was always terrifying. I you love the, that movie. The, That's the guy who I think one of the guys who did the the Digimon movie uh, did uh, Wolf, Wolf Children. I uh, could believe yeah. that. The Digimon movie was, I love it, and it's in three parts. But it's in th it's in three parts. There is um, so part one is as the the original children as toddlers for the first time they made Digimon. The second oh, yeah, part, yeah, yeah, yeah. The second part is where the original children after the main storyline, but before the next generation. And that's the virus Digimon, yeah. where the missile's gonna hit Japan. And then th part three is with um. The second set of Digidestin, Davis, and all that. Um, and Willis from Colorado, where he, he's getting hunted down by... The bunny thing. Yeah, yeah, the yeah Kokomon. One of his Digimon yeah. that got attacked by is a that, virus. Is that all in the same movie? It is all in the same movie. The yep. It's all the same movie. See, I only remember really the latter half of it. Yeah, I know. I, I this th That Digimon movie was my sick movie. Whenever I got sick, I watched that movie. 
Oh, yeah, no, same, like... With the Angela and Anaconda my... opening, no matter what. Yeah. Me and my brother, we were given, um... We were each given a movie. I was given the Lizzie McGuire movie, and he was given the Digimon movie. You can bet who actually watched the Digimon movie. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Mm-hmm. And nobody watched the Lizzie McGuire movie. Oh, no, I watched the Lizzie McGuire movie, too. Oh, fair, yeah. But I just, you know... <laughs> Because people assume that girls can't like shit. Yeah, yeah. See, I was and lucky. people assume that people are girls. I was lucky, and I have a grandmother that also watches Transformers. <laughs> so I was like, oh, your you're... grandmother watches Transformers? My grandmother that. watches. That's... You used to sit and watch cartoons with us. All the cartoons. Pokemon, Digimon. If Transformers were on, she was always there. All the, all the Land <laughs> Before Time movies with us. Oh, all 37 of them? <laughs> Let me just... I, there's not 37. I have the complete collection over here. One sec. See, it kind of sucked for me, like, because, like... Um, there are 14. My, Jesus Christ. Like, my mother is, like, not your traditional feminine person at all. Um, But for some reason, they always... Growing up, they always assumed that, like... They'd always just default to gender norms, so, like... Any game si- gaming system was always given to my brother. Um, so, like, I never had any handheld gaming systems at all growing up. Like, I didn't play... That's why I, ne- I never played Pokemon, because I didn't have a Game Boy. I didn't have, like, any of these things. Steven did. I did not, because girls can't play video games, apparently. So. Yeah, no. I, I, thankfully, I've never had that problem. If Like, technically, the N64, the big Pikachu one we have, that's, like, a limited edition... That's technically Vince's P- um, N64. He got it for his birthday. Yeah. Obviously, I played it the most because I had Zelda. But we we were very good about sharing the consoles because I think the Xboxes yeah. are technically... They're both. There are two Xbox ones. are both mine. I bought and paid for both of them. But he has one on his TV. The other one's here against the computer. But we were... We share. Yeah, like, I think, Steven, like, we always kind of shared the, like, physical, like, the big, the big consoles, but, like, yeah, no, I never got to play any, like... Handheld ones? Handheld games. No. In fact, I I didn't even have console games for years. I took, I I actually went years without playing video games because I didn't realize you could play them on a computer for some reason. (laughs) My understanding was that only Sims is, like, Sims is the only game that exists as a a game you can have on your computer aside from, like online games yeah and yet computers what started it oh yeah though there's a i don't know what it's on i know my dad was watching it it's like i think it's just called video games and it's the history of how video games happened oh yeah it's on netflix i think we've been watching well we we started watching some of it yeah i walked out for like a mini series yeah it's like a season i walked out for the end of the episode about Star Fox and how 3D games were revolutionary. But I stayed because next episode was about Doom. The first Doom oh, and how many yeah. how many doors the first Doom opened. Like, first online multiplayer game. Yep. Yeah, like, I think we so we just watched the first episode the other night. Um, you should get to the Doom episode. It. That's actually a really good one. It reminds me a lot of the Crash Course uh, episodes on gaming. Yeah. Honestly, it was it was quite educational. I, I loved it. It was really good. Yeah, it was really interesting. Cause I, I, there's a lot of stuff there that I, like, I just did not know about. Like, I love how they went into the uh, E.T. game for the Atari and it almost like destroyed the video game industry. <laughs> that's how he was telling me. And he told me, actually, because um, I didn't see that part. He told me that's why E.T. failed, is they phoned up some kid and he did it in five weeks. Because that's the time yep. frame yep. they gave him. That explains why when... E.T. was such a bad game. <laughs> well, yeah, because basically the way they explained it was, like, they usually, on, like, a big game for them at the time would take, like, months. eight to nine months to do. Like, they were talking about, like, the Indiana Jones game they did for the Atari, and it was like, yeah, that took us nine months to do. And that was a really big game. And then some, and then uh, they called us up and was like, hey, can we have uh, E.T. in five weeks? For Christmas. For Christmas. And it's like, that does not give you enough time to bug test or anything like that. No. And also, like, it was really nice because we saw the um, the creator of Space Invaders and, like, the book, it was all, like, hand-coded. Like, you could see, mm-hmm. like, he literally had it all, like, hand-coded. And I'm just like, 
sitting there like a fly before its meal, just like, yes, oh my God. give me all of the deep lore. Space Invaders <laughs> is a great game still, even in this day. Oh, yeah. I just, I just really enjoyed that because it was just like a, all they appeal to all of my niches, coding yeah. and video games. Space. <laughs> Like, that is literally, I wanted to get into video game programming. This series is made for me. Yeah, exactly. It's like, specifically your thing. Yeah. What the hell is it? Oh, we're at 15 minutes. We still have time. So- oh, oh. Did you guys see the Batman trailer? I don't think I want to. The Robert Pattinson Batman? It looks fucking dope. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm like I was never really skeptical, but like I was like, oh okay. I'm down for Robert Pattinson playing Batman. To be honest, that's hilarious. Oh yeah, no, he looks really good. Better than fucking Affleck. Yeah, (laughs) there's fucking there's a scene. They actually like they they pay attention to the detail that like when he takes the mask off, you see he has like eyeliner smudged around, so he just looks like the most emo looking motherfucker good <laughs> like mid 2000s oh, yeah the, although it's, like mid 2000s gerard way yeah good. and it's just it's great <laughs> i think somebody there's a scene where he like takes down a, th- uh, a thug and somebody did the math where it's like i think in the span of eight seconds he punches him 13 times <laughs> That's a D and D round. Yeah, and I think think people are already doing the meme of "Stop, stop! He's already dead." I think I made that joke while watching it. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Well, that confirms that Batman is a monk. Yeah, Yeah. Batman would be a monk. Batman is a monk. He's a monk of the shadows. Oh God, he really is. Like, there's an actual like that would I think that's actually what he would probably be. I mean, yeah, like if you follow the um, the Christian Bale trilogy like that's yeah. basically how he started anyway yeah. so he's literally yeah, oh, yeah, the, 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 about that. yeah the christian bale version at least yeah he Had trains with as fucking ninjas and stuff so yep well yep. That, that's, that's what the shadow the, and that's what the way of shadows is it's basically ninjas yeah pretty much yep it's the ninja anime <laughs> it's the ninja anime indeed funk class which and anime then you get do batman you ninja be? you get batman no ninja. not again although <laughs> not did you again hear that they're uh they're bringing back ben affleck no. For another movie. No, no. For no. What? It's going to be the Flash movie. No. But, yeah. Oh, dear. No. Although, I actually, I liked the Ben Affleck. I no. liked Ben Affleck as Batman. He was terrible. I'm just, I've just been waiting for him to get an actual, like, good movie that actually showcases his ability. No. I refuse to acknowledge Ben Affleck You'll be Batman. waiting a bit longer. Yeah, I'll probably be waiting a little bit longer. Although, like, <laughs> did I would did rather guys... resurrect Adam West and have him do a new Batman series. Oh my god, that would be amazing. That and then have amazing. Affleck again in the street. Undead Batman. <gasps> Quick Robin! <laughs> Please, I give me... Or, or you know what? Just give me Clooney with the nipples again. I don't care. Just don't give me Affleck again. I don't want <laughs> that. I'd rather oh see Clooney's nipples again. <laughs> Clooney with the nipples again? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about, about that. that. Look no, up Batman George while, Clooney. Batman and Robin. They gave the Batman suit nipples. for George Clooney. They gave it nipples. Do I want to look this up? Yes, you do. I'm already doing it. Yeah. Because, like, oh god, and it's also really funny because um, they did it. They true. put out a trailer for the, I guess, the Snyder cut of Justice Pointy. League. And <laughs> have you guys seen the Watchmen movie? Not in years. No. Have so, you... no. Zack Snyder also directed the Watchmen movie. And there's a scene in that movie where yep, two people... they're pointy nipples. Yeah, two people are knocking boots, as we, sh- as we say. They're, they're fucking. They're fucking. And it's like this like two and a half minute slow-mo sex scene, and he plays Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah no. during it. Who gave him that song? So, I don't know. And the thing is, I, I just kind of, you know, everybody loved it at that, because everyone thought it was a really like unintentionally hilarious music choice. Cut to yesterday, where this version of the Justice League that he's been working on for the past three years, that was originally supposed to be out, but then bullshit happened. What song does he play throughout the entire trailer? <laughs> Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. And all I can no, think about no. watching this fucking trailer 
of this guy who, for this guy who worked really hard for three years. And I'm like, all I can think about is two people banging in an airship in slow motion. <laughs> it's so goddamn stupid. But although it does get, you, you get one really good bit where it's like the first like chorus ha hallelujah starts right as a right when Jason Momoa is just taking his shirt off in slow motion and it's just like, oh, well, they gosh. timed that real well. They knew. Um, yeah, Chris, how do you feel about uh, George Clooney Batman? Um, nipples. Yeah, just, I'd yeah, rather just see so that again. Totally forgot that was a just thing. so you're aware, babe, that movie, the George Clooney Batman movie, that killed Batman for a while. Yeah, it did. was so bad. It was terrible. Nobody I made a Batman movie for like years. And I then would Christopher rather, Nolan happened. And... I would rather have that, a whole trilogy of that, than have Ben Affleck back. Please. Well, because the thing is, the Batman and Robin, it was like, it was so bad, but it was it was entertaining in just how bad it was. Because it's like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is Mr. Freeze just making mm -hmm. ice puns. Like, okay, what killed the dinosaurs? That. The Ice Age! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was comedy gold. I... It was comedic. Yeah, it's comedic gold, but not for the right reasons. Uh, you you although... see my problem now. Batman is the only DC hero I tolerate. Yep, same here, pretty much. Except I for some like of the minor ones. DC I, I love I... the minor ones. See, it's funny. I think we were having this discussion yesterday. There's yeah. only two DC characters I actually care about. And Batman's not one of them. I don't mind Batman. I tolerate him. I can't stand Superman. Nobody can but... stand yeah. Superman. Superman's real hard to get right. Most people don't. I just generally, like, the only ones I really like are Wonder Woman and, and Raven, and, and by extension, most of Teen Titans, excluding Robin, because Robin's boring. Which Robin, though? There's, like, five. Yeah, there's, like... Spe well, I mean, specifically, I think it's Dick Grayson is the one that's in... Yeah, that'd be Dick Grayson. But either way, like, in general, most of the Robins I find boring. Um, yeah. Yeah, with the exception of uh, Jason Todd, because Jason Todd's kind of a psychopath. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I like Batman not for Batman. I like Batman for the villains. Yes, Batman, Batman. has the best villains. Absolutely. Batman still has the best villains. He absolutely. I mean, there's been what, like, how many different versions of <laughs> the fucking Joker? They should just let that one go, though. They, there's so many other villains they could work with instead of just Condiment Man, Batman. man. Do Condiment Angry Clown man. man. Yeah. Give me a movie well, where Batman fights Cut Condiment Man. man. Well, thing is, did you know that there's an actual DC supervillain called Kite Man? Yep. Wait, wait he's a villain? Oh, yeah, yep. I forgot he was a villain, because, you know, show. <laughs> and he's on the animated Harley Quinn show, and it's just hilarious, because, like, nobody know, knew about Kite Man. Nobody was aware of Kite Man was a thing until they were. <laughs> until the DC show. I still have to watch that. As much as I love Harley Quinn, I still haven't watched that. Well, thing is, I love... I... It's really good thing is i enjoy harley quinn but honestly harley quinn she's kind of it's kind of like the deadpool effect where the, just like she's been so overplayed she's not even that yeah. old like, harley I, quinn didn't get introduced till the 90s no she's it, one of the she wasn't ones. even introduced in the comics she was introduced in the animated series yes they did bring her into the, the only... comics shortly after yeah because the they only... knew a gold mine when they saw one exactly the only problem i find with the harley with the animated harley quinn is that because it's kaylee cuoco I, until you start lo watching the episodes a little bit further, it takes a while for me to just not hear a certain character from a certain show that is not Penny enough. from Big Bang Theory. Yeah, that. <laughs> You're Penny. See, the show's over now. We can insult it all we like. Yeah, no, but basically... Is it over? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it had, but basically, yeah. yeah like, it takes me a couple episodes to remember, or like even like a couple minutes. It's just like, right, this is not Penny. It's okay to like this character. Yes. <laughs> I, I do, she's a psychotic murdering clown but it's do, okay to like her i do have a question about it since it seems like Devin, you two have watched it a little bit yes do they give her back her hyenas oh i don't i think i don't think they did at that I point i can't remember because i don't think we haven't finished it because we got distracted by critical role and everything else. i swear they do reference the hyenas at one point i do i can't remember if they have i i am that's what one thing i loved about birds of prey is yes. they remembered she has well they only put one in they remembered she has the pet hyenas and that one of them was named after the hot billionaire yes 
And it that was, was that was actually, a comedic joke. <laughs> they actually did a, t- say why they only had one of them. Did they? Why? One of the one is easier to animate and less expensive than two. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Because <laughs> it was a CGI hyena, I think. So yeah. that was literally the reason why they only did one. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. But like, I I loved her stupid hyenas. Like it was just because I watched '90s Batman a lot. Her just Harley Quinn walking out there, being all sassy, holding this these two chains of snarling hyenas. I'm like, that's that. that that's hot. <laughs> yeah. I always Look remember being this. really sad playing uh, Batman Arkham City and there's like you go into like Penguin's base and you realize that in the Arkhamverse uh, he had the uh, hyenas shot and stuffed because you just see them both sitting on one of the things. I'm like, oh no! They killed the hyenas! No! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shall, we, shall we wrap it up there? Probably. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Um, thank you for uh, listening in on uh, the JKT Radio Podcast. If you'd like to hear more of our crazy antics, uh, just just go down uh, and uh, go to the video. Listen to some of our other crap. Or you can click the things that are going to appear on the screen in a sec. If you want to be notified about when we post more stupid shit, hit the bell. It will tell you. Or just remember this gets posted every Wednesday. Uh, you, if you want to... S- Stay in the know and in the glow. Just hit that, uh, hit the, hit that subscribe button. That tasty, tasty button. It's delicious. We promise. I think I labeled it the raspberry, raspberry <laughs> flavored button. Click it, lick it. It's glorious. It's the holy uh, trinity. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, do those things. Lick the lick screen. Honey, it tasted it like that raspberries. Was, that was that was that was glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> bye. Uh, bye, everyone. Bye.